Welcome to this in-depth exploration of Pleistocene Park. To appreciate the vision and goals of this innovative project, it is essential to understand the Pleistocene Epoch, a geological time frame that lasted from approximately 2.6 million to 11,700 years ago. The Pleistocene Epoch was characterized by repeated glacial cycles, during which large ice sheets expanded and contracted across vast regions of the Northern Hemisphere. These glaciations were driven by complex interactions between the Earth's orbit, axial tilt, and precession, known collectively as Milankovitch cycles. These cycles affect the distribution and intensity of solar radiation reaching the Earth, leading to periodic changes in climate. During glacial periods, cooler temperatures prevailed, leading to the expansion of ice sheets from polar regions into lower latitudes. The growth of these ice sheets had profound effects on the global climate system. Large ice sheets reflected more sunlight, increasing the Earth's albedo and causing further cooling. This feedback mechanism led to extensive glaciation. The Laurentide Ice Sheet covered much of North America, extending as far south as present-day New York City, Chicago, and the Northern Great Plains. The Feniscandian Ice Sheet spread across Northern Europe, reaching as far south as modern-day Germany and Poland. In Asia, the Siberian Ice Sheet influenced vast areas, while mountain glaciers dominated regions such as the Himalayas and the Alps. The expansion of ice sheets also led to a drop in sea levels as vast amounts of water were stored as ice. This exposed continental shelves and created land bridges, such as the Bering Land Bridge, which allowed the migration of species between continents. The Bering Land Bridge, also known as Beringia, connected Asia and North America, enabling the movement of flora and fauna between these land masses and playing a crucial role in the migration of early human populations. The altered topography and shifting climatic zones reshaped ecosystems, promoting the development of the Mammoth Steppe. The Mammoth Steppe was an extensive, cold and dry grassland that spanned from Western Europe through Siberia to North America, covering an area estimated to be around 16 million square kilometers, making it larger than any present-day ecosystem. This biome was dominated by hardy grasses, sedges, and herbs, which thrived in the harsh, glacial conditions and supported a diverse range of megafauna. In many ways, the Mammoth Steppe can be compared to modern-day African savannas, such as the Serengeti, in terms of its ecological complexity and biodiversity. The Serengeti is renowned for its large herds of herbivores and their interactions with a variety of predators. Similarly, the Mammoth Steppe supported a wide array of large herbivores and formidable predators. The fauna of the Mammoth Steppe included some of the most iconic and formidable animals of the Pleistocene. Woolly mammoths were among the largest, with adults reaching up to 8 metric tons in weight and standing over 3 meters tall at the shoulder. Their thick, shaggy coats and long, curved tusks are emblematic of this era. Saber-toothed cats such as Smilodon were apex predators with elongated upper canine teeth designed for precision killing. The steppe was also home to mastodons, large elephant-like creatures with distinctively straight tusks, as well as herds of bison, wild horses, and the giant deer, known for their enormous antlers spanning up to 3.6 meters. As the Pleistocene epoch drew to a close, the Earth experienced significant climatic shifts. The last glacial maximum, which occurred around 20,000 years ago, marked the peak of the most recent glacial period. Following this, the Earth's climate began to warm due to changes in Milankovitch cycles, leading to the retreat of the ice sheets and the onset of the Holocene epoch. The transition from the Pleistocene to the Holocene brought about a more stable and warmer climate. Concurrently, the arrival and expansion of anatomically modern humans played a critical role in the extinction of many large megafauna species through overhunting and habitat disruption. The loss of these keystone species led to a cascading effect on the ecosystem. The once dominant grasslands of the Mammoth Steppe transformed into tundra, taiga, and boreal forests. This transformation had several significant impacts on the regional and global climate. The disappearance of large herbivores led to reduced grazing pressure on grasses and sedges, allowing woody plants and mosses to dominate the landscape. These plants are less effective at reflecting sunlight, leading to lower albedo and contributing to regional warming. Additionally, 
The shift from grasslands to forests and tundra altered carbon storage in these ecosystems. Grasslands store significant amounts of carbon in their extensive root systems and soil. When these grasslands were replaced by forests, much of this stored carbon was released into the atmosphere, exacerbating the warming trend. Furthermore, forests in these high-latitude regions are more prone to wildfires, which release even more carbon dioxide. The loss of megafauna also affected the physical landscape. Large herbivores like mammoths and bison played a crucial role in maintaining the grasslands through their grazing and trampling. Their absence allowed the soil to become compacted and less aerated, reducing its capacity to absorb and retain water. This led to changes in local hydrology and contributed to the degradation of permafrost, releasing methane, a potent greenhouse gas, into the atmosphere. These ecological changes not only affected regional climates, but also had broader implications for the global climate system. The feedback mechanisms involving albedo carbon storage and greenhouse gas emissions highlight the interconnectedness of ecosystems and the climate. The restoration of the mammoth steppe through projects like Pleistocene Park aims to mitigate some of these negative impacts by reintroducing large herbivores and restoring the grassland ecosystem. Pleistocene Park is a groundbreaking conservation and ecological restoration project located in the Russian Far East near the town of Chersky in the Saka Republic, Yakutia. Spanning approximately 160,000 hectares, around 400,000 acres, this vast reserve aims to reintroduce and manage Pleistocene-like ecosystems. The project was founded by Russian scientist Sergei Zimov, an ecologist and researcher known for his pioneering work in the field of rewilding and ecosystem restoration. Zimov's vision is to recreate a habitat similar to the mammoth steppe, where large herbivores and predators can thrive, thus restoring ecological functions lost since the Pleistocene epoch. Originally conceived in the early 1990s, Pleistocene Park aims to mitigate climate change and improve biodiversity by reintroducing species that once roamed the mammoth steppe. The project draws on principles of ecological restoration, seeking to recreate and stabilize an environment similar to that which existed during the last ice age. With its expansive size and innovative approach, Pleistocene Park represents a bold effort to address ecological degradation and climate change while providing valuable insights into the functioning of ancient ecosystems. Pleistocene Park is not merely a scientific curiosity, but a visionary project with ambitious goals aimed at ecological restoration and climate mitigation. In the short term, Pleistocene Park seeks to reintroduce key species that were once integral to the mammoth steppe ecosystem. This includes large herbivores such as reindeer, wild horses, and bison. These species are crucial for initiating the restoration of the steppe environment, as their grazing behavior helps maintain open grasslands and prevent the encroachment of woody plants. Another immediate goal is to enhance the park's infrastructure to support the rewilding efforts. This involves establishing fenced areas to safely house the reintroduced species, creating water sources, and implementing habitat management practices. Additionally, ongoing research and monitoring are essential to assess the health of the ecosystem and the impact of the reintroduced species. Over the longer term, Pleistocene Park aims to fully restore a functioning mammoth steppe ecosystem. This ambitious vision includes the reintroduction of additional extinct species, such as the woolly mammoth itself. Advances in genetic technology, spearheaded by organizations like Colossal Biosciences, are exploring de-extinction techniques that could potentially bring back this iconic species. Beyond reintroducing specific species, the park aims to recreate the ecological dynamics of the Pleistocene. This involves restoring ecological processes such as nutrient cycling, soil aeration, and hydrology, which were maintained by large herbivores and their interactions with the environment. One of the most significant long-term goals is to mitigate climate change. By re-establishing the mammoth steppe, the project hopes to increase the albedo effect, where reflective grasses replace darker, heat-absorbing forests, thereby cooling the regional climate. The restoration of permafrost, which was once maintained by the insulating effect of snow on grasslands, is also a critical objective. The presence of large herbivores is expected to help in maintaining this permafrost by keeping the ground insulated. 
To achieve these goals, Pleistocene Park employs a multifaceted approach. This includes collaborations with genetic researchers, ecologists, and conservationists. The project also relies on rigorous scientific research and adaptive management practices to refine strategies based on ongoing observations and data. Public engagement and education play a vital role in the project's success by raising awareness about the importance of ecological restoration and climate mitigation, Pleistocene Park seeks to inspire, support, and participation from around the world. Pleistocene Park's vision is both bold and forward-thinking, aiming to restore an ancient ecosystem and address modern environmental challenges through innovative science and dedicated conservation efforts. Central to the vision of Pleistocene Park is the reintroduction of species that once roamed the mammoth steppe and the eventual recreation of a fully functioning, self-sustaining ecosystem. As of now, Pleistocene Park hosts a diverse array of species that echo the megafauna of the Pleistocene epoch. These include reindeer, which were reintroduced in 1996, and wild horses, reintroduced in 2007. Currently, the park is home to approximately 100 reindeer and 30 wild horses. Both species play critical roles in maintaining open grasslands and preventing the encroachment of woody vegetation. Also present are the bison, with around 20 individuals now roaming the park. Reintroduced to the park to help restore the steppe's ecological balance, these large herbivores contribute to soil aeration and nutrient cycling through their grazing behavior. The park's next step involves introducing additional species to further enhance ecosystem functionality. Plans are underway to bring in the musk ox and the Eurasian elk. The musk ox, with its robust grazing habits and ability to survive harsh climates, will help maintain vegetation structure, while the elk will add to the herbivore diversity and contribute to habitat complexity. In the immediate future, the introduction of extant predators is a practical step. The park plans to introduce the Eurasian lynx and the gray wolf. The lynx will help manage smaller herbivore populations, while the wolves will play a role in controlling larger herbivores to promote biodiversity and maintain the health of the overall ecosystem. One of the most ambitious goals of Pleistocene Park is the potential reintroduction of extinct species, such as the steppe's namesake, the woolly mammoth. The project is collaborating with Colossal Biosciences, a leading biotechnology company specializing in de-extinction technologies. Colossal Biosciences is working on cutting-edge genetic techniques to resurrect the woolly mammoth by using DNA extracted from well-preserved mammoth remains and integrating this genetic material into the genomes of Asian elephants. The process involves several steps. First, scientists identify and isolate mammoth genes responsible for traits such as cold resistance and hair growth. These genes are then introduced into the genome of Asian elephants through advanced gene editing techniques like CRISPR-Cas9. The goal is to create hybrid embryos that are then gestated in elephant surrogate mothers. Future ambitious plans include bringing back other extinct species formerly found in the mammoth steppe, such as the woolly rhinoceros, cave lion, and the saber-toothed cat, but further research is required before these are possible. The introduction of these species is part of a broader strategy to develop a self-sustaining ecosystem. The park's goal is to recreate the ecological processes of the mammoth steppe, where herbivores maintain grasslands and predators control herbivore populations. By reintroducing a range of species, Pleistocene Park aims to establish a dynamic balance among flora and fauna. The project seeks to reintroduce large herbivores to recreate the grazing dynamics of the Pleistocene. By re-establishing grasslands, Pleistocene Park hopes to achieve several climate-related goals. By reintroducing species like reindeer, wild horses, bison, and potentially mammoths, Pleistocene Park aims to restore grasslands. These large herbivores' grazing habits will prevent the expansion of woody vegetation, ultimately reducing it, whilst promoting the growth of grasses. This grassland restoration will increase the albedo effect, helping to cool the Earth's surface by reflecting more sunlight. The trampling and grazing behavior of large herbivores will help expose the soil to cold winter air, aiding in the preservation of permafrost. Restoring the mammoth steppe ecosystem will also enhance biodiversity. A diverse ecosystem is more resilient to environmental changes and can better adapt to shifts in climate. 
increased biodiversity also supports a wider range of ecological functions and services, promoting overall ecosystem health. Pleistocene Park's climate vision is not only to revive an ancient ecosystem, but also to create a model for climate change mitigation. By demonstrating the benefits of ecosystem restoration, the project hopes to inspire similar initiatives worldwide. One of the most powerful impacts Pleistocene Park can have is serving as a successful case study in rewilding. By documenting the positive outcomes of their efforts, such as increased biodiversity, climate regulation, and ecosystem resilience, Pleistocene Park provides a tangible example that other conservation projects can follow. This demonstration effect can motivate governments, NGOs, and private stakeholders to invest in similar initiatives. The methods and technologies developed and tested at Pleistocene Park, such as advanced genetic techniques for de-extinction and innovative habitat management practices, can be applied to other conservation projects. By sharing their research findings and technological advancements, Pleistocene Park contributes to the global body of knowledge on conservation science, enhancing the effectiveness of wildlife preservation efforts worldwide. Pleistocene Park actively collaborates with a range of partners, including universities, research institutions, conservation organizations, and biotech companies like Colossal Biosciences. These collaborations not only bring additional resources and expertise to the project, but also create a network of stakeholders committed to rewilding and conservation. This network can facilitate the transfer of knowledge and best practices to other regions and projects. Education and public awareness are crucial for the success of conservation initiatives. Pleistocene Park's outreach programs, including documentaries, educational materials, and visitor experiences, aim to raise awareness about the importance of ecosystem restoration and climate change mitigation. By educating the public and inspiring a new generation of conservationists, Pleistocene Park helps build broader societal support for wildlife preservation. The success of Pleistocene Park can influence environmental policy and funding priorities. Demonstrating the economic and ecological benefits of rewilding can encourage policymakers to support similar projects through legislation and funding. This policy influence can lead to the creation of new protected areas, the expansion of existing reserves, and increased financial support for conservation efforts. By setting a precedent in rewilding, Pleistocene Park can act as a catalyst for global conservation initiatives. Projects such as the European Rewilding Network and the Yellowstone to Yukon Conservation Initiative can draw inspiration and lessons from Pleistocene Park's experiences. The project's success can also encourage the establishment of new rewilding initiatives in diverse ecosystems across the globe, from tropical rainforests to arid deserts. Restoring ecosystems to their former glory enhances their resilience to climate change and other environmental stresses. By demonstrating how ecosystems can be restored to a self-sustaining state, Pleistocene Park provides a blueprint for other regions to build climate-resilient landscapes that support both wildlife and human communities. Pleistocene Park represents a bold and visionary attempt to turn back the clock and restore an ancient ecosystem. By reviving the mammoth steppe, reintroducing keystone species, and leveraging cutting-edge science, the park aims to address some of the most pressing ecological and climatic challenges of our time. As we face increasing environmental degradation and biodiversity loss, Pleistocene Park stands as a symbol of hope and innovation. It demonstrates that with determination, collaboration, and scientific advancement, we can make meaningful strides in restoring ecosystems and combating climate change. In the spirit of innovation and perseverance, Pleistocene Park exemplifies what is possible when humanity strives to heal and protect our planet. Let's embrace this vision and work collectively towards a future where nature thrives, climate is stabilized, and the echoes of the past enrich the promise of tomorrow. Check out their website to learn more about this groundbreaking project and find out how you can get involved. That's all for this video. If you've learned something new, hit the like button and share with your friends. You could also subscribe for more answers to your thoughts of nature. Please leave a comment for what you would like to learn about next. Thank you.